Hi, I'm Eric with the Bing Ads team. In this short video, I'm going to run through the basic steps to get an ad campaign up and going. This is just a high-level overview of the entire process, so you'll know what to expect. At this point, don't worry if you don't understand some of the terminology and how everything fits together. After watching the rest of the videos in this Getting Started series, you will. First, on the Campaigns page, you'll click Create Campaign, and then fill in each item the name of the campaign, how much you want to budget, the information for your first ad, the keywords you want your ad to display for, and so on. Your campaign contains all of the information you need to advertise your business online, and it should center around a specific theme. When you create your campaign, your first ad is automatically saved in an ad group. An ad group is simply a container for related ads and keywords in a campaign. The default name for the ad group is ad group number one, which you'll probably want to rename to something that makes more sense for your campaign. For this travel agency example, we might name the ad group European Destinations, which would contain ads and keywords related to our European specials. We'll go into more detail about ad groups in the Expand Your Campaign video. At this point, you'll have a campaign, a renamed ad group, and the one ad you wrote when creating the campaign. Next, you want to create some more ads. Three ads per ad group is a good rule of thumb, making sure that each ad is very focused on the related ad group. You'll also want to take some time to revisit the keywords you selected and bid on when creating the campaign. Keywords are the words or phrases you want your ad to display for. You can bid on as many as you like, just make sure that within each ad group, all of the keywords are closely related and use a mix of match types. In the Expand Your Campaign video, we'll go into more detail about both keywords and match types. Once you're happy with your first ad group, you'll want to create any additional ad groups that make sense for your campaign. The most effective campaigns are structured correctly, meaning they have multiple ad groups, each one tightly focused around related keywords, and a small number of ads. For our summer airfare campaign, we might create other ad groups such as domestic destinations and South America. Once you've got all your ad groups set up, you'll need to confirm that your campaign is active. First, you need to add a payment method. This will make sure that your ads actually begin to run or display when people search on your keywords. You will do that here on the Payment Methods tab. Another thing to keep in mind is that all ads go through an editorial review. To make this process go as quickly as possible, I suggest that you take a look at the editorial guidelines and help. Once your campaign status is listed here as active and delivery is eligible, you know that everything is good to go. If not, click the arrow to get suggestions to fix the problem. So that's all there is to getting a campaign going. Although you could stop here, you'll also want to do some basic campaign monitoring and optimization. There are a number of free tools and reports to see how your campaign is performing and help you make any necessary tweaks and adjustments to ensure that it remains competitive. So please take a look at the other videos in this series to learn about other tips and tools for getting the most out of your ad campaigns.